I'm Sam. And he's Spike. Welcome to our website, where we make grammar videos that are out of this world. We joined a new team at school. While we tell you all about it, we'll also learn how to define words with prefixes. The team competes in a decathlon every year. The word decathlon has two parts, dec and athlon. Dec is a prefix, or a group of letters that comes first. Dec means 10. Athlon is the root word, or the main part of the word. Athlon means contest. Now that we know what both parts mean, it makes sense that a decathlon is a big event with 10 different contests. One event in our decathlon is a trivia game. It's all about a certain century. The prefix cent means 100. So a century is 100 years, like from the year 1800 to the year 1900, which was the century for our trivia game. That was in a whole different millennium. Mill means 1000. So a millennium is a period of 1000 years, like from the year 1000 to the year 2000. Kilo is a prefix that means 1,000 too. Let's practice defining more words that start with these prefixes while we tell you about our first competition. We didn't do too well in trivia. The other team answered the question so quickly. It felt like it only took them a millisecond. What does millisecond mean? Millisecond means one thousandth of a second because mil means 1,000. If we take a second and split it into 1,000 parts, one of those super short parts is a millisecond. What feels like a millisecond? The blink of an eye feels like a millisecond because it happens very fast, like 1,000th of a second. The other team answered most of the history questions faster than us, but we did a little better with questions about the last decade. What does decade mean? Decade means 10 years because dec means 10. Which of these is a decade? 1890 to 1900 is a decade because that covers 10 years. We knew a lot about history from 1890 to 1900 but that wasn't enough for us to win the history challenge. We did a lot better at the scavenger hunt. We had to find tiny clues hidden around the school. Each clue was just a centimeter long. What does centimeter mean? Centimeter means one hundredth of a meter because cent means 100. If we take a meter and split it into 100 parts, one of those small parts is a centimeter. Which of these is about a centimeter long? A ladybug is about a centimeter long. They're tiny, or one hundredth of a meter. We had to use a magnifying glass to read the teeny tiny clues once we found them. We won the scavenger hunt, and then we had to run a kilometer as a team. Which of these is about a kilometer? The distance across a long bridge is about a kilometer. Kilo means 1,000, so a kilometer is 1,000 meters. After the race, there was an art contest. Blake sculpted a decapod out of clay. Pod means foot, and creatures often get their names for how many feet or arms they have. Which of these is a decapod? This crab is a decapod because it has 10 legs, including its claws, and dec means 10. His crab was great. It got second place in the sculpting contest, and the centipede won. Ped is another base word that means foot. Which of these is a centipede? This bug is a centipede because it has 100 legs and feet, and cent means 100. I bet it took a long time to sculpt all those tiny legs. Today, we learned how to use the prefixes dec, cent, mil, and kilo to figure out what words mean. We still have six more events to become true decathletes and millionaires?
Great job with those prefixes, Spike. But I don't think you read the contest flyer correctly. We can't win a thousand, thousand dollars. But we can win that giant trophy. I bet it weighs a centile. Thanks for checking in with Sam and Spike. Like always, she's got the cam and he dropped the mic.